Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. This week's video is a collab with Karina over at Life's Little Things. She shares content very similar to mine over on her channel, so I know y'all will like her channel just as much as I do. The link to her video will be down below. Make sure you go check it out. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I share these What's for Dinner videos every week to motivate myself and y'all to cook more for your family as well as to share new recipe ideas. If you enjoy these types of videos, I'd love it if you subscribe down below. As always, any recipes that I use will be linked down below as well. Now let's go ahead and get into this week's What's for Dinner. It is Friday and it is New Year's Day and tonight for dinner we are just having spaghetti. We have never been ones to participate in like traditional thanks, uh, not Thanksgiving, New Year's Day food. Why do I always want to refer to Thanksgiving as the holiday that I'm talking about when it comes to food? I don't know but we've never done traditional food i didn't even know it was a thing to eat like greens and black eyed peas until i was 18 and working at dollar general and my boss told me so i never knew it was a thing we just never really had those traditions as a kid so we are making our own and our tradition is just eating spaghetti on new year's day i know that's what we did last year so that's what we're doing this year and that's what i'm going to try to continue to do for the years to come uh just to have some little fun traditions. But that is going to be dinner, just spaghetti and garlic bread for New Year's Day. It is Saturday night and tonight for dinner I am making a new taco soup recipe. I decided to try this one that is a cheesy taco soup and I don't think I've ever tried one like this before. So to start off, I am browning one pound of ground beef. I've got that over here with some salt and pepper. I'm sorry if it's kind of loud, dishwasher is going just for the dishes. And so while that cooks in this pot, I'm going to make a cheese sauce. So for that, I'm going to start off by melting in two tablespoons of butter, and then I'm going to whisk in some flour and cook that for like a minute or so. And then I'm going to whisk in some milk. I've got my milk right here. One cup of milk and we'll season that with salt and pepper. And then once it starts to thicken up, we'll add in some cheese. I've got one cup of shredded uh, mild cheddar and then I'm going to shred some more I'm working on that uh, to top the soup with afterwards but then that cheese sauce once it's done will actually go in the soup and so for the soup we're also going to need some taco seasoning some rotel some black beans I'm going to drain and rinse those and then we're going to need the cheese sauce and some more milk so this is going to be like different than any taco soup I've tried so I'm gonna to continue to cook the ground beef and work on making the cheese sauce. My ground beef is now cooked and I drained uh, most of the grease. So now I'm going to add in my drained black beans. I got my rotel that is not drained. Uh, I'm gonna do another cup and a half of milk. And then the cheese sauce and taco seasoning. And then I'm gonna bring this to a simmer 
and then does it say reduce the heat yeah turn the heat down a little bit and let it simmer for another 10 minutes Okay, here are our bowls. We topped it with a little bit more shredded cheese. Not exactly necessary, it said if desired. I feel like you could also top it with some sour cream or some avocado or something. Make it really good. This makes me think of just like a loaded kind of queso um, with like Velveeta or something, but it didn't use Velveeta. So that was pretty cool. Just made your own cheese sauce. Um, and obviously it's not as thick as like a cheese dip would be. Um, it is a pretty thick soup. Um, it's pretty creamy, but um, I think it's going to be delicious. We've got some chips back here to crush up and put in there. I didn't want them to get soggy, so I didn't go ahead and do it. But that is going to be dinner for Saturday. It is Sunday night, and I just made a really simple dinner tonight. So I made some pork chops in the oven, and I just put some of this Grillmates apple wood rub on there. I picked this up at Dollar Tree a while back, and it's really good on, like, pulled pork and stuff but I thought it would be good on the pork chops especially since we like to dip them in applesauce so I did that and then to go with it I just made this from Aldi earthly grains long grain and wild rice garlic and herb and it also has little pieces of orzo in there it's really good it's pretty easy to make but this is the thing that took the longest to cook tonight this does take like 25 to 30 minutes so we were just waiting for that pretty much and then I made a can of peas and I just seasoned these with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and butter. And then we have applesauce. Just have this applesauce from Aldi. So this is my plate and these are the kids' plates and I just went ahead and cut up their pork for them. But that is going to be dinner for Sunday. It is Monday night and tonight for dinner we are trying another recipe from this halfway homemade Meals in a Jiffy cookbook. Last week we tried that one pot chicken bacon ranch pasta and it was delicious so this week we are trying this chicken alfredo ravioli bake um, seems super simple I am adapting it just a little bit but I will have this recipe link down below if I can find it as well as the cookbook this is only the second recipe that I've tried but I would definitely recommend this cookbook um, it's just I love the little tips and everything in it I just really like it so far even though as I said this is only the second recipe I definitely see myself liking other stuff in this I flipped through the whole thing and have some more things marked so recommend this cookbook it's like $17 on Amazon and I'll have a link down below so I'm gonna start off by cooking my chicken I've taken about two pounds of chicken not two pounds about a pound of chicken it was two breasts I diced it up and I'm going to season it with salt, pepper, some badia, and some garlic powder. This is different than what she calls for in the recipe. I'm going to season it how I like it. You season it how you like it. She just called for pepper and garlic salt. I'm going to do a little more than that. And we are just going to brown that up over here in our skillet over medium heat. And I have already preheated my oven to 350. Okay, my chicken is done and I just turned off the heat. Now I'm going to stir in two jars of Alfredo sauce. I have this creamy Alfredo from Aldi. I have two jars of that. And then I'm gonna stir in about a cup of mozzarella. And then the main thing that I'm doing different is I am not pre-cooking my ravioli. So the recipe says while you're cooking the chicken, 
to boil some water and cook the ravioli. But I've made other like ravioli bakes in the past and never cooked the ravioli. Um, it is going to take longer to bake. She says to bake it for 15 minutes. This is not going to be done in 15 minutes. I'm going to bake it closer to 30 minutes, but I would rather it take longer to cook than to dirty another dish boiling the ravioli. So I'm not going to do that. But I am going to stir this in with the alfredo and the cheese, and then we are going to transfer it to a 9 by 13 pan. Here's what this looks like done. It took 30 minutes. I checked that 30 minutes and the ravioli was done. And then I broiled it on high for three minutes to get this nice golden brown top. And I'm currently, <coughs> excuse me, I'm currently sauteing some zucchini with a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter, and some Tony's Creole seasoning and some badia complete. In here are our plates. I will be sure to leave a message here on the screen letting you know how we liked it. it. Smells good. I don't see how it could be bad. So there'll be a message here letting you know if we liked it. On Tuesday night, I tried a recipe for red beans and rice in the Instant Pot. I started off by heating some oil in the Instant Pot on saute. And when that was hot, I added in a one pound of sliced smoked sausage and I let that brown a little bit. Then I added in some diced onion and celery. The recipe also called for a diced green pepper, but I didn't have any. And I let that cook for about five minutes until the onions were translucent. Then I added in some minced garlic and I let that cook for another minute. Next, I added in just a little bit of my chicken broth to deglaze the pot. I scraped up any bits from the bottom, and then I added in the rest of the broth, my dry kidney beans that had been soaked, drained, and rinsed, some salt and pepper, thyme, Tony's Creole seasoning, bay leaves, a little bit of hot sauce, and some Worcestershire sauce. And then this cooked on manual high pressure for 20 minutes and naturally released for about 30 minutes. Uh, you just want to make sure that all of the pressure is naturally released. The recipe I followed will be down below for all of the exact cook times and directions on soaking your beans. There's also a cook time for making it if you don't pre-soak your beans. So it can be just all in one, like even if you forget to soak your beans, it just, it's just going to take a little bit longer to cook. When it was done, I removed about one cup of the beans and mashed them, and then I added them back in. The recipe said this was supposed to help kind of thicken it a bit, but I also ended up adding some cornstarch that I mixed with water because I wanted it to be just a little bit thicker.
And I served this over some white rice that I also made in the Instant Pot. I will have that recipe below as well. We love this, but it was a tad bit too spicy. So next time I will cut back on the Creole seasoning just a little. It is Wednesday and tonight for dinner we are having pizza. And honestly, I'm really glad that this is what I picked because my stomach has just been like in knots. Like... I'm sick to my stomach over what's going on in the capital right now. I don't usually talk about these kinds of things on my channel, but it's nuts. It's unacceptable. And it just has made me on edge and full of anxiety all day today. So I'm really glad that this is what I went with for dinner tonight. I just knew I was going to need something easy this morning, I guess. So I pulled out both of these non things from the freezer. I'm going to make probably like three of these for the kids right now and then later this evening I will make some for Andy probably these two for me and Andy and then we'll just save these in the fridge for lunch or something another time um I also pulled this is not pizza sauce this is homemade red sauce that I made and just refilled this jar and had it in the freezer I pulled it out thought that out today as well leftover ham from Christmas that I also pulled out from the freezer uh because we have like four pepperonis in there so mostly going to be ham pizza I've got a little bit of mozzarella cheese and some cheddar cheese and I've shown me make these before so I will just show the finished product at the end I am going to heat these up in the oven on 375 for about four minutes and then put the toppings on and put them back in there for probably another five to six minutes okay here's what we ended up with for the kids um one of them will each have a pepperoni and then one with ham and we are severely lacking on veggies and stuff in the fridge so, so this is what we've got. Elijah's got some carrots ranch and the last of the sweet peppers and Lily has a little bit of sweet peppers too. She only likes the red and orange. I do, did give her some yellow to try but look at that look. <laughs> She's like what? Yellow? Oh, not Kids. yellow. Carrots. No. Yes. I don't want any carrots. So that is going to be their dinner, and I will show you what me and Andy have later. Okay, it is 10 o'clock now. I just made my dinner. Andy should be here probably in the next 30 minutes, and then we'll make another pizza for him. Um, I've had, not had an appetite all day, as I said earlier. I've been sick to my stomach, just not feeling great. But I know I need to eat, so... I'm going to force myself to eat some dinner so that I don't wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning not feeling good because I didn't eat because I know that that's what will happen. I decided I didn't want ham. I just did some sauce, cheddar cheese, and some of these bacon pieces instead. And hopefully that's good. <laughs> um, it sounded better than ham for some reason. I did want like... Uh, spicy Hawaiian like uh, with jalapenos and pineapple and ham but I didn't feel like doing that uh that might be what Andy has we'll have to see when he gets here but uh that is my pizza okay here is Andy's pizza he went with one big one and one little one and he went with Canadian bacon and he has lots of the mozzarella and some cheddar cheese and yeah that is going to be dinner for Wednesday Thursday night I made a recipe called chicken scampi and garlic parmesan rice. In a skillet over medium heat I heated some olive oil and then I cooked my thinly sliced chicken breast. Both sides of the chicken were seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Once the chicken was cooked through, I removed it from the pan and then I added in one stick of butter, some minced garlic, crushed red pepper, salt, and pepper. I let that cook for a few minutes, stirring it often.
Then I added in some white wine and I let that cook for another five minutes. Next, I reserved about two tablespoons of the pan sauce for use at the end, and then I added in one and a half cups of white rice, and I let that brown for a few minutes. Then I added in some chicken broth and brought it to a boil. And once it was boiling, I covered it and reduced the heat to medium low and I let that cook for 20 minutes without stirring or removing the lid. After 20 minutes, the rice was cooked perfectly. So then I grated some fresh Parmesan cheese over it and sprinkled with some parsley. And then I placed the chicken back on top and the pan sauce from earlier. And then I covered it and just let the warmth of the rice and the pan warm the chicken up a bit. I served the chicken cut up on top of the rice with a can of green beans on the side. This was so good. I definitely will make it again. And that is going to be it for this week's What's for Dinner. Don't forget, as I said at the beginning, this was a collab with my friend Karina. Her link will be down below. Make sure you go check it out and tell her that I sent you over. If you plan on trying any of these recipes, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.